All right, in this module of the course, I'm going to show you a little bit about YAML. Um, YAML stands for yet another markup language. Yes, I know our community of IT folks needed another markup language, so I appreciate the humor of the guys that created yet another markup language. Now, YAML is a handy little markup language. I, I like it. It's a pretty versatile. Now, if you're already familiar with YAML, go ahead and skip this section. This is more just a quick introduction on how to use YAML in case you're not familiar with it. But if you're already good to go on it, go ahead and skip to the next section. All right, we want to take a look at YAML and see what we can do with YAML and get you introduced to YAML. There's quite a bit that we can do with YAML. It's becoming more and more popular within Spring to do configuration. It's pretty handy. It's a little bit different than doing a traditional property file. So that's why I want to do a little introduction here to how to work with YAML. So let's take a look here. I'm going to come in our scripts folder and I'll, I'll save this example here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and let's call this example.yaml. YML is the preferred example. So even though we say YAML with a, an A in there, it's a, the file extension is actually YML. And I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Now the first thing that we want to do is take a look at comments. Like this is a comment. Anything that starts with the pound sign is a comment. Now, YAML does use a key value pair, so we can do some name, oops, spelled name right, colon value, and that, that's a, a, a key value pair. And now if I do a pound there, this is also a comment that section of test there, text is going to be picked up as a comment. So that's a comment, but this here is going to be valid YAML. And it, it is sensitive, so if we did uh, another name, colon, and do a single tick, comma, value, that. Now that is actually a string value. So another name is going to get pound value, so that is not going to get picked up as a comment. So that's a, an important thing to remember. Now, a, a couple things that get a little tricky there. You can nest in things. And I'm going to grab something here. So this is a good example from, if you're familiar with Spring, and you've set up values here. So I'm cop copying this over, and I'm going to add this in. Now, to make this equivalent YAML, what we're going to do is spring colon. And I hit tab there now. You want to do at least two spaces. That is the YAML standard. standard. Some people like to do four. So that, that is up to you. So that's I'm making the equivalent YAML here. So if I come in and do Okay, so this is how the above properties would be listed out. So this is a way to list out a number of map values. So we got a number of key value pairs there. And we can see that this is actually a, a list of different properties. So this is how that spring configuration will look inside of YAML. Now there's a, another thing that we need to do is talk about is a list. And this is something that we're going to see inside of Docker Compose for sure when we're dealing with different properties. So let's do some list value. And to do some list value, we can do either value one. So that's one way of doing the list. And what we can also do, now that this can also be indented. So that is also valued valid YAML. So either format is acceptable. I personally like the indented version, the second version that I did of the list. 
I think that's a little bit easier on the eye to read. That's just my personal value, but either one is acceptable. Now, another thing that we, we're going to see inside of Docker is another list. Let's do, uh, we'll call this map list. And we can do key value. And this is a, this would create a list of maps. Actually, why that? So you gotta be careful with the formatting here. So that this is gonna set up two keys or two maps within a list. So this is another versatile value of YAML. So uh, above, let's see here, I'll, I'll even put a comment in here. So just so you remember that as a, a list of maps. So just a, another example there. And this here, the, the biggest thing with YAML that you need to remember is the formatting is very important and it's gonna go off of spacing. Uh, you need at least two spaces there. You can do optionally four. Uh, definitely want to be doing spaces there. When you are editing YAML, I am using IntelliJ. IntelliJ is going to do a, a standard editing. You definitely do not want to edit YAML using something like Word. Notepad should be okay. If you're on Linux, VI is going to be completely fine. So use a, a generic text editor. Do not use a rich text editor. Uh, because that is going to add in uh, garbage to it. It will add in uh, formatting characters, hidden characters. That is going to mess up the YAML. So you want just a very simple text file. I'd say use an Intel, like IntelliJ. IntelliJ is smart enough to sense YAML. It's going to be fine with uh, using YAML. Or if you're on OS X, Linux, VI, uh, Nano, any text editor should work on it. Uh, Notepad's probably going to be okay. Notepad++, another ideal option. Sublime, good option. So any text editor is going to be a, a good option, but make sure that you're not using anything silly there. Uh, that is going to add in a, a lot of uh, extra characters, a lot of hidden characters, because that will definitely mess things up for you. So this concludes my little crash course on YAML, in case you weren't familiar with it. This is probably about everything you're going to need for creating Docker Compose files.